Hey guys, it's uh, Ronald here. Um, a little more than a month ago I bought this camera. You can uh, check the video for the unboxing of it. Um, and I promised back then to do a little review of some kind. Um, this is going to be it. I hope it's going to be okay. Um, this camera uses uh, mini DV tapes, these kind of guys, to shoot. Uh, normal mode you can record about 60 minutes and in long play mode it's not good visible in long play mode you can record up to 90 minutes uh, the camera itself has a microphone a lens with 34 times zoom it has 200 uh, digital zoom but I'm not using that I hate digital zoom it also has a um, digital image stabilizer which uh, takes off a little bit shakiness if you uh, zoom in real far uh, an LCD screen which I'm going to show you in a second and EasyQ but I haven't used that it's uh, a button you press and it takes all the thinking away from you for the settings but like I said I'm not going to use that uh, I'll turn the camera around now here you have two buttons this is your zoom in zoom out button and this little guy, I haven't used it, I don't know if it works is your photo button you can take photos with that, but like I said I don't know if it works and what quality is um, at the back we find uh, the connection for the composite cable and the connection for the firewire cable now I have to note here, uh, this camera doesn't have USB connection, so if you're looking for that, don't bother. Um, going down, close this, uh, we have the record button, the power on off button, and the mode button. With this button you can switch from uh, recording mode to play mode. Whoops. As you can see, my LCD is now screaming that there's no tape. If I hope you can see this, yeah, here we go. If I press the mode button, the LCD switches, and if there was a tape inside, I'd have the opportunity to play something for you, but there's not. So I'll switch it back. Um, at the bottom, it's a little hard to see. Whoops, <laughs> don't mind. At the bottom, you'll see. There's a power supply connection. Now there is, as you can see here, space for a USB connection, but in this type of model they haven't thought of that. Okay, uh, somewhere on the inside, I hope you can see this. Yeah, that's better lighting. Uh, the top thing, this, is your speaker. So if you have recorded something and you play it back on the screen itself, you can hear the audio from that. Aside from that is the battery, which I showed you in the unboxing video how to place it. And here you have the easy Q button and your display button. I'm not using that one. And here we have the LCD screen. And on the left on it are three buttons. The menu button, a little control joystick and a record button. Um, a few questions uh, users have asked me was uh, how can you connect this camera to your computer um, well again through the firewire connection but make sure your laptop or your computer has such a connection normal computers don't have it and most laptops nowadays don't either it's a shame Apple threw it off also um, if you want it for your PC or your laptop, you should try to find a card for it. Uh, for PCs it's not that difficult, but for laptops I found it's either not possible or very expensive. So there you go. The uh, trick I use for this is, I'm going to switch over, is this little guy. It's my uh, AVE-TV hybrid uh, television USB stick. And it has your, oops, 
has your standard connector, but it also has, conveniently enough, these three composite connectors. This cable, which came with the camera, this is the end you plug into the camera, and these three go in there. Then I plug in my TV stick into my USB port of my computer, and I start recording. Uh, now I had a tape with something on it, but it's not inside. Uh, the only two downsides i found so far, um, the camera can be a bit noisy uh, when you record at night. Uh, it's a little dark and it goes noisy like uh, an ISO setting on a digital SLR. And the cassette compartment can be a little annoying. Uh, normally it, you'd expect it to open up here and you place the tape in there. But what happens, you lay it down in this back. Now here's the open button. You have to slide it, open the case. And then it pops up. I'll show you in a sec. Insert the tape. Close the compartment. Wait for it. And then you close the lid. Now, when I open up the LCD again, you do see that there is no more yelling that there's no tape. The convenient thing I found was you can twist this around. Oops. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm recording. I hope you can see this. I'm recording on the camera itself too. So I might do a picture in picture of me recording myself. <laughs> well, I hope this has been convenient to some people. If you have more questions, just throw them into the comments. And. For now, I say goodbye and till next video.